Greetings. This is Preacher Rick. Well, we have accomplished getting all the way through the Bible with a single message from each book, a brief message. And now the Lord has instructed us to keep going for a while. And we're just going to mind the Lord. And all of you that join us today, we're so glad you're here. I pray it will be a real blessing to you today. We are going to look at the old prophet of Daniel. Daniel, I want to uh, uh, get right into a message about him. He really blesses my heart. And I'll tell you why he blesses my heart. Because you can't see anything negative about the man. Such a blessing to see someone that's that uh, was that close to God that you can't read anything negative about him. Thank God forever. And I, I was uh, reading a lot about him this morning, and it really blessed my heart. I want to share one special verse, and I might read some verses around it for you this morning, uh, this afternoon. But the, the verse that really sticks to me about Daniel is verse 5, verse 8, I mean, of the first chapter. It says, but Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself. And that's part of the verse. Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself. And if we'll do that same thing, uh, we can accomplish a lot for the Lord. He purposed it in his heart. We have to purpose in our hearts that we're not going to defile ourselves with whatever it is. His happened to be uh, with the different kind of food and the wine. Uh, but whatever it is. Uh, that is around us, that tempts us, or that, that might be thrown our way. We have to purpose in our heart that we're not going to defile ourselves. Now I'll read the rest of that verse to you. With the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank, therefore he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. Now, to put that in context for you briefly, I'll back up a little bit and let you know what happened. He was only like 16 years old. Uh, when uh, the uh, Israelites got carried away to Babylon. Uh, and God had warned them, and you remember in the old prophets had been warned over and over it was going to happen. And sure enough, it happened. They got carried away into captivity. And uh, Christian, beware. Uh, we never know what we might go through in this whole world while we're here. But the main thing is that we know who we serve and that we're going to live for him regardless of what comes our way. If there's a United States or if there's not a United States, uh, if we have our family, if we don't have our family, if our church is still there, if it's not still there, uh, we need to uh, to learn lessons from this pandemic and things that have come our way uh, of what might come before we leave this whole world. You never know uh, what might happen. Anything can change the course of life. Uh, and But God's in control, and that's the main thing we need to always hide in our heart. But they'd been carried away, and he was like 16 years old, and uh, he was a, a very educated young man. But he was more than that. Uh, he was a very, very godly man. He cared about the things that be of God, and he purposed in his heart that he was not going to defile himself. Well, uh, the king asked for the wise Israelites and the, the, the uh, very uh, comely ones uh, to be set aside and nourished for him, for him to use them and, their, and to learn from their wisdom and maybe use them for whatever he wanted to there in his kingdom. He was a very mighty king. And Daniel, and uh, you've heard the old story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That's what, that was his friends. They, they were all there, and the uh, prince of the eunuchs was to take care of them and feed them of the king's food and wine because the, the king wanted them to be very healthy and full and manly. And so uh, Daniel didn't believe uh, there was, a, in the, under the old Mosaic law, there were a lot of meats they were not allowed to eat. And he didn't want to drink that old strong drink of wine. He didn't believe in it. And so he asked the prince of the eunuch to let him just drink water and eat beans, basically, lentils. And the Prince of the eunuch said, you'll cost me my life if uh, you get poor of health or you lose weight, look bad. And I, of course, I'm out of living, but that's basically what happened. And he said, well, please just give us 10 days and see. 
And so God blessed that 10 days. They ate beans and water for 10 days, and they were healthy and made better looking than the uh, other guys. Uh, so the prince of the eunuchs, he said, okay, well, I'll let you do it. And sure enough, you know why? Because God blessed the beans. All things are to be eaten with thanksgiving. And uh, and when we purpose in our heart that we'll not defile ourselves, God will bless our effort. Uh, and I, I'm really uh, thankful that da- Daniel lived such a life. He really blesses my heart. I, I want to say a prayer, and I want to share before I preach just a little bit after we've shared this scripture, uh, that uh, God has told me to, to go and share some of the patriarchs of the Bible, their testimony or their life in a short sermon for a while. And I'm going to mind God. So those of you that are just tuning in today, we preached all the way through the Bible. Now we're going to preach some uh, of God's men, uh, their, their testimonies. And uh, I'm going to say a short prayer uh, so we can get started and maybe preach for a few days about like this. Our most kind and our gracious Father, I thank you for the ones that are tuned in today, and I pray, God, your blessing upon them. Save the lost. Bless your church. Dear God, help us all through this pandemic. And whatever time they listen to this, whether it be now or sometime in the future, maybe the pandemic over, maybe, uh, Lord, there won't be uh, another time, but only you know. I just pray your blessing. That you get all the glory and that you be pleased. Dear God, as we preach for you, send the preacher, we pray in Jesus' name. Thank God. I, you know, I've, I told you earlier, and I mean it, there, there's two men, and Daniel's one of them, and Joseph uh, of uh, the book of Genesis is another one. But there are two men that really bless my heart when I read about them. Uh, others do too, but these two really stand out to me. And I read about them, and I think, wow, what a man of God. Uh, thank God. A, a man that uh, is unselfish, a man that cares about the things that be of God the way these men do. Uh, uh, the Bible says that Daniel opened the gates, uh, uh, the door toward uh, Jerusalem, and he prayed uh, three times a day, thank God, uh, uh, out loud that everyone could hear him. Uh, Let me tell you, uh, uh, thank God, we need to pray today like we've never prayed. Uh, We need to learn not to defile ourselves. Uh, We need to learn, thank God, to walk in God's ways. Uh, The Bible says to seek out the old paths, and when you find them, walk therein. Uh, I believe it's time, uh, thank God, that we got back to the old uh, uh, gospel way, Uh, thank God, and we realize Uh, It's time that we got on our knees uh, and we plead to God uh, to save our loved ones, our friends and neighbors, uh, that we devote our lives uh, to the foot of the cross. Uh, Thank God that we pick up our cross and bear it uh, daily, uh, uh, praising the Lord Jesus Christ uh, who died on the cross that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Uh, Oh, and Daniel realized this. Uh, He realized that that we only have one time, uh, one little round here on earth, uh, and he wanted to use it wisely. It didn't matter to him if he was in Jerusalem uh, or Babylon. Uh, It didn't matter uh, who the king was uh, or wasn't. Uh, What mattered to him was that uh, he wouldn't defile himself before God. Uh, And when you get to reading about Daniel, uh, uh, thank God, God gave him uh, uh, a lot of insight uh, future uh, prophecies that even compare to the revelation. Uh, I'm so thankful uh, uh, that God can use us uh, uh, as he wants if we'll just devote our lives to him, uh, if we'll just take up the cross and follow him. Uh, Thank God and be found uh, uh, faithful uh, because, listen, uh, we only have this one round here on earth, uh, and it's soon going to be over. Uh, The Bible teaches that the average life of man is three score and ten, and that's 70 years old, uh, or by reason of strength four score and that's 80 uh, uh, so uh, we might make it to 70 or 80 yes we might make it a little past that uh, but the fleeting years go by let me warn you and tell you uh, uh, your life uh, is short at its longest uh, uh, it's just a little breath of air is all it is uh, and then the next thing you know that old appointment comes uh, the Bible says it's appointed unto man once to die uh, but after this the judgment I live every day realizing that uh, that I'm going to face judgment judgment for everything I say and do, uh, and I leave uh, everything at the foot of the cross. Uh, I pray a prayer of repentance. Uh, God, uh, uh, keep me safe. Forgive me if I do wrong. Uh, Help me to overcome evil with good. Uh, Help me, dear God, to be faithful uh, uh, to your ways, the old-time gospel, uh, Holy Ghost way, uh, God, that you set before me. 
Uh, I'm so thankful uh, uh, for the old time way. Uh, and as I said earlier, the Bible says, seek ye the old paths, and when you find them, walk therein. Uh, I want to be a Christian. Uh, thank God God hadn't changed any from our grandparents' days, uh, not from our great-grandparents' days. Uh, he hadn't changed any in any day. Uh, he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Uh, he said, I, the Lord, change not. Uh, thank God glad he doesn't change. Uh, thank God because if he changed, we wouldn't have a chance. Uh, but he loves us. Uh, thank God. And he died that we might have life. Uh, and I'm so thankful uh, that he loves me that much. And he loves you. Uh, and if you uh, uh, want to be a Christian, you can be. Uh, if you want to overcome a evil, you can. Uh, thank God it's there for all. Uh, as many as will come unto him, he will receive. Uh, thank God. I want to go to him, don't you, daily. Uh, I want to be found faithful, being the Christian he'd have me to be. Uh, I want to overcome evil uh, and the old sinful nature of man. Uh, and I want to be a Christian above all things. Uh, thank God forever. Isn't that all that really matters uh, uh, when we finally uh, uh, see the Lord Jesus and we die? Uh, and we, I'm want to, the angels to carry me over Jordan. Uh, thank God uh, I don't want to be drugged to some pit uh, of torment, but the angels will carry me to Abraham's bosom to be with the Lord. Thank God forever. What a day that'll be. And until that day, I'm determined like Daniel that I'm going to pray without ceasing because I know that the effectual fervent prayers of a righteous man availeth much. I know that much good will come out of our prayers. God hears and answers our prayers. He cares about us, and I'm so glad that he does. God is so good, and I'm so grateful to be able to share his word one more time. Thank God forever. It's such a privilege, and I don't know yet today who will be on. I'll be preaching about tomorrow, but you pray for me, and I'll preach about another one of God's old patriarchs. Thank God I'm one of God's children that he used in the Bible to establish his ways for all of us to read about. And thank God the book of Daniel has a whole lot we can read about. Uh, I will say this before I close. Uh, you know, the old king, uh, one of the old kings, he had the fingers of a man coming right on the wall. You've heard of the writing on the wall. And he gave Daniel the, the understanding of it. And he could interpret dreams. And he interpreted it. Everything he said came to pass just like he said it would. Manay, Manay, Shekel, you Pharisee, it said. And no man could read it. The soothsayers couldn't read it. The astrologers, astrologists couldn't. They couldn't read it. None of those uh, people could read it. But Daniel could because God gave him the inside. And he told the old king. He said, your king, king has been taken away from you. You're going to die. And it, he did. Just like, just like it said, the handwriting was on the wall. The handwriting's on the wall today. It's time to get right with God. You've wasted too many years. Too many days go by. Wasted time, wasted time. Oh, don't waste any more time. It's too precious. Until tomorrow, this is Preacher Rick saying, I'm praying for you. Hope you're praying for me. God bless you, my beloved. Bye-bye.